Oh, it's me, Carrie. Um, as I said, if you watched my video last night, I have found the new uh, Disney Zoom Zoom Lip Smackers. I'm super stoked about that. Um, I wanted to take time today to give you my first impressions on those, as well as the Gotham Girls Lip Smacker Tin that I found the other day at, um, at Walgreens. So I'm going to start with the Gotham Girls. This is a close-up of the ladies. We have Harley Quinn, Batgirl, and Catwoman, and it is a really super cute tin. It is actually 0.37 ounces, and it is just listed as Gotham Girls Cherry Lip Balm. So I'm going to open this up and give you guys a look at it. I'm assuming it's going to be a bright cherry red, but you never can tell. I love this tin, though. I have so many cherry lip balms. It's like ridiculous. I'm sorry there's a weird glare on my glasses. I know the sun is, the angle is weird, whatever. But, um... I have a ton of cherry lip balms, but the packaging totally got me on this. And the fact that it's lip smackers. It actually unscrews, kind of. Okay. So it's not bright, bright red. It's like more of a pinky red. And it's actually kind of misleading. Like, you look at this huge tin, you think it's going to be full. You can kind of get an idea in there that less, I would say, far less than half of this tin is actually full of product. So that's a super bummer. See? I hope you can get a good look at that. Look at how much metal you can see inside there. The lip balm doesn't even come, it's like the thinnest, thinnest layer of product in the bottom. That's super disappointing. I'm going to have to look at my uh, Wonder Woman and, uh, sorry, God, this glare, my Wonder Woman and Barbie tins and see if they're as empty as these. This is a bigger tin, so they probably have the same amount of product and they're just smaller tins, but that's kind of misleading and shady lip smack, to be honest. But anyway, let me get a finger full here. It's just a very, very thin, light formula. It's slightly, is it slightly pink? No, it's cl it's clear. It's just my, my very pale skin tone, but it does have a nice cherry scent. It's clear and very, very thin. It does smell very nice, though. It's a nice, nice, rich cherry scent. I don't know if this actually has to unscrew for just no, it just kind of presses on, but it does have a little bit of a locking mechanism, so you won't lose your lid. Yeah, you don't have to turn it at all, actually. So I like it a lot, and I'm really glad I have it, but the fact that the tin is way bigger than the amount of product it contains, that's kind of shady, in my opinion. Just saying. All right, but this is the main focus, and again, I'm trying so hard to get a better angle. The sun is just coming right in on my glasses. I apologize, but I can't shoot without them because... Believe it or not, they're not for fashion. They are a true necessity. But um, let me get to these guys because I'm super excited to share my thoughts with you. The first one we have here is Olaf. He's super adorable and his scent is Icy Truffle Treat. And as you can see at the top here, it shows like, it looks like chocolate and a bit of a bit of mint. So in case you were wondering what Icy Truffle Treat is going to smell like, I'm assuming it will be a nice chocolate minty smell. I was gonna cut that open. I actually think I'd rather tear it up and see if I can do it with the little plastic insert part intact. Because I need, you know, to hoard more trash, but I'm gonna, let me see if I can do that. You know what? I'm going to pause real quick and open this, and I'll be right back. Okay, here we go, guys. There it is. Oops. Okay. Ah, we're falling in the plastic. Take him out of that. And here is Olaf with his adorable little twigs for hair and his cute carrot nose and there's his little hands and his little feet he's adorable now I'm hoping and I love little buck teeth I'm hoping this will be a really rich strong chocolate mint scent and a nice blend of both because it, it bums me out when chocolate mints are too minty or too chocolatey I'm really hoping this will be a nice blend it's just like a off-white kind of color let's see Mmm, it does actually smell really nice. I'm going to swatch a little on my hand. Yeah, that does, it's almost like, hmm, it's not like a York peppermint patty smell, only because that's very, very strong peppermint scent to me. It's, it's like a chocolate peppermint candy. I can't think of what, maybe more like a junior mint scent. It smells really, really good though. And I like that satisfying click when you lock it into place. So I'm really, really happy with Olaf. We'll sit him right here so you can, oh, we'll set him right there so you can kind of see him. Okay. I'm going to show you the other three and then I'll open them off camera so you don't have to watch the boring packaging being opened. But, um, 
This one is the Cheshire Cat, and it is Plumberry Wonderland flavor, and it looks like some kind of little fruit up there. I guess that's supposed to be plums. I don't see any berries. But, um, so yes, yeah, so that's Cheshire Cat. Then we have Jack Skellington, which is Pumpkin Spice Latte. And there is the pumpkin and the cup of coffee with like a little cinnamon stick to give you an idea of what the scent will be like. And last but not least, we have Miss Sally. And Sally is peppermint candy corn flavor. And as you'd expect, there's some peppermint candies and some candy corns. So that's quite an odd but intriguing combination. So I'm going to pause, open these all up, and we'll check them out. Hold on just a sec. Okay, guys, here we go. Sorry, I had to check and make sure we were back on. So here they are all lined up, and I apologize again. I know the light is crappy, but um, yeah, Olaf so far is definitely a winner with that chocolate mint, and I didn't taste it. I do want to do a quick taste so I can let you guys know if they are flavored as well as scented. Mm hmm Yep, definitely has a nice light. It's light, but it's a light really appealing chocolate mint scent. So yes, and chocolate mint flavor. I like that a lot. One more pause because I have to go grab a paper towel. Hold on a sec. Okay, I think we're all set now. Pays to be prepared, Carrie, and I never am. But anyway, wipe that sun off so you could try the next one. I want my hand. But next up we have Cheshire Cat. And again, this is, what did I say, Plumberry? Plumberry, Plumberry Wonderland. It does have the the name of the flavor on the bottom, which I love. I wish Revo and EOS would start doing that. But anyway, he's super, super cute. He's got his cute little stripy tail. And I love his little his little nose. He's just super adorable. So let's check him out. And he is a very pretty pink. Let me get a sniff. Mmm. Wow, plum berry. Yeah. It definitely, definitely smells like plum, which is an unusual scent for me. I don't think I have any plum lip balms. But there is definitely some kind of fruity berry flavor mixed in with there. I can't pinpoint what type of berry it is, but it's really, really a nice scent. Let me see if it's got flavor. Mm hmm It does. Very, very moisturizing and light. I love it, but... It does have a light hint of the flavor as well. I am so happy with these. Okay, let me get this on straight so I can hear that happy lock sound. Why am I not able to close this one? Am I turning it the wrong way, lefty, loosey, righty, tidy? Let's say, why is that not closing? Okay, come on now. There we go, I need that click. Okay, so there's Cheshire Cat and I really like him as well. Super nice. Next up, we have Jack Skellington, and Jack is Pumpkin Spice Latte. He's really cool looking. To be honest, I know, don't don't hate me, but I've only seen um, The Nightmare Before Christmas once, and I didn't really care for it. I mean, it was okay, but I know some people love, love, love it, including one of my best friends, Jen. She's, like, obsessed with it. Um, it's been a long time since I watched it. I would probably have to revisit and see if I like it better now. But anyway, he is Pumpkin Spice Latte, so... He will be orange, as was shown on that little spot in the package. There you go. That's like so Halloween-y, the black and orange combo. Okay. Yeah. I'm getting pumpkin for sure. And it does have that spiciness, like maybe a little bit of cinnamon. And the coffee. Yeah. Wow. They really nailed these scents. I'm so impressed. I really, really am, as always, clear. Mmm. Yeah, you get a little bit more of the coffee scent. Like, on my hand, I'm getting a little bit more of the coffee scent. But there's a lot of pumpkin, too. I really like this. Mm. This is the lightest in flavor on my lips. It's a little bit there, but not very much. But it's enough that I can still appreciate it. Because I do like my lip balms to be flavored as well as scented. I'm pretty, I'm pretty picky about that. I mean, I won't not buy one if it's only scented, but I prefer when they have flavor as well. But yeah, that smells really nice. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, so far, we are three out of four on these Tsum Tsums. And lastly, we have Sally. 
I love her little patchwork outfit there, how they were able to, you know, manage to, like, kind of reinterpret her dress to still get it, you know, to fit the Tsum Tsum shape and still be really Sally-ish. So, yeah, I like that. Very cool. And this one, what did I say this one was? Oh, that's right. This is very intriguing. Yeah, this one is candy corn pumpkin? Peppermint candy corn. Why did I say pumpkin? Peppermint candy corn, which is not a combination I would typically think of together. I like peppermints and I like candy corns, but together that's just weird because candy corns to me are like sweet and marshmallowy and then peppermint. I don't know. We'll see. But it's a pretty minty color, kind of like the color of Sally's skin tone. It's a little bit of like blue to it. Let's give it a sniff. Hmm. Okay, it's weird. Like, initially, all I got was the peppermint, but then, like, the after scent, if that's a thing, was kind of, like, candy cornish. Like, that sweet, sugary, kind of marshmallowy scent. Hmm. It's really intriguing, because they actually really did incorporate both. I think the peppermint is just a more dominant flavor in general, but they're, like, they do mingle. Like, I don't know. Let me see if it has a flavor. Yeah, they're both there. It's really hard to describe, except to say that it really does taste like peppermint. Like if you put a peppermint candy and like a few, you know, four or five candy corns, because you need a lot of candy corns to compensate for the strength of like the peppermint. Like if you had like one of those little red and white peppermint candies, you'd need like probably five or so uh, candy corns to sort of balance the, the scents or the flavors. But yeah, they're both in there. That's really, really cool. Okay. And I feel a little bit of a tingle from the peppermint. Very, very slight. Not strong, not medicine-y, not like that hardcore, oh my gosh, I just put like massive peppermint lip balm on my lips. But a tiny, it's cooling. It's it's actually a pleasant feeling. So yeah. And, it, and they all feel really moisturizing, really nice. Sorry, I'm a little sniffly, guys. But yeah, I'm really, really happy with these. I'm actually really happy with this, too, with the exception of the fact that, again, the, the packaging is so deceiving. You know, it does have a weight on it. So, I mean, it's not like, you know, false advertising or something. But when you see this deep, deep tin, you think that's how much, you know, that's going to be filled pretty high with lip balm. And it's not at all. I mean, it's literally like the thinnest, thinnest layer on the bottom. So that's a bummer. And I'm kind of disappointed with that. But again, the lid does stay in place, which is nice. I bought it mostly for the packaging. Let's be real. So when I use it up, ooh, when I use it up, I use it, you know, as a pill box or, you know, to put something else in, you know, paper clips, who knows, whatever. But, um, yeah, so that's the only bummer about this, I have to say. But as far as the Tsum Tsums, I am really, 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 really happy with this collection. And it, it might, in fact, possibly be my favorite set of four of the three sets of four they've released so far. Um, the flavors are interesting. That Where it's a blend, like chocolate and mint, they, they do keep, you know, the balance pretty even, which is awesome. It's not dominant towards one flavor or the other, or one scent or the other. Um, and even plum berry that I was like, oh, you know, it's just going to smell like a typical standard berry. It's not. It is plum. It's really, really different than anything else that I have. So, um, yeah, I am giving this a definite, like, two thumbs up on all of these items. Um, I'm really quite pleased. I'm so thrilled that I was able to find them and it wasn't, you know, difficult like it usually is because it's usually really, really hard for me to find these. If you didn't watch my other video, I did find these in Christmas tree shops on Long Island. So, um, there's a section in the Christmas tree shops that's actually Harmon. And um, there are a lot of freestanding Harmon stores as well. There are also Bed Bath & Beyonds that contain a Harmon subsection within that store. So I would say definitely if you have a Christmas tree shops, if you have a Harmon, or if you have a Bed Bath & Beyond, check those three places first and foremost. And hopefully you'll be able to find them if they have those in your area of the country. Um, obviously if you're international, I wouldn't even be able to venture a guess as to where to look or if you don't have those three th three stores um i've heard in the past of them being found in rite aids i've never seen them in any of my rite aids um uh, i've seen them in target but only the original four the mickey mini stitch and poo are the only ones i've ever seen in targets but you may be able to find them there eventually i'm honestly not sure but definitely um 
the places I that I had mentioned, you know, uh, Christmas Tree Shops, Harmon, and uh, Bed Bath & Beyond. If you have any of those three, I would say that would be the best place to start your hunt. But, um, yeah, so thanks for watching, you guys. Again, I apologize for this awful glare on my glasses. Believe me, I wish I didn't have to wear them. But, um, yeah, they're a necessity. But um, thank you so much for watching. I hope this was informative and helpful to you guys. Um, please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And please subscribe if you haven't already. Um, I, I plan to offer, you know, a, a diverse, you know, cross-section of randomness on this channel. So um, it won't always be lip balm. It won't always be Disney. You know, it won't. It'll be all. It'll be a whole variety of shit like it's been so far. So um, thank you for watching. Have a fabulous day. And I will see you next time. Bye.